brief video, I'm going to go over some of the basic concepts of getting started with Word 2013. As we get started here, it is important to understand that some of the concepts that I cover here apply to both Office 365 and Office 2013. So to get started, what we have to do here, we click on the Start menu and then locate Office 2013. In this case, I don't have the basic version of Office 2013. This is, I believe it is the ultimate version of it, which includes pretty much everything. So we have Access 2013, Excel, and then uh, you have Outlook 2013, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Word 2013. Uh, publisher usually and some of those components do not come with a standard version of it. So in this case we'll click on Word 2013 and then what's new compared to other versions of Office 2010 or 2007 and so on is that uh, when you first open Word 2013 you are presented with a template. And actually this is a great improvement because for somebody who is starting from scratch you could just simply pick any of those templates and instead of having to relocate them and find them where they are stored. So you could start right away with an existing template. If you needed to, need to use any of these templates of course you can just click on any of those and click on create it will download it and all you have to do is just click on the text whatever you want to change in it but that's not the purpose of this tutorial so the purpose is by actually to get used to some of the concepts and access and learn about them so let's go back here to word and we're going to start here a document from scratch so as you open Word, notice the interface looks a little bit different. It looks more whitish and this is more the modern design. And uh, the other thing is, uh, just like in, in Office 2010, the file menu is back. Because in 2007, or in Office 2007, the file menu was gone and it created a lot of confusions. By the way, if you are used to using Office 2007 or Office 2010, the basic principles and concepts apply here as well in Office 2013. So what you have is that you have the, on the left hand side here, you have the file menu. In the file menu, then you have these different sub options here on the left hand side. On the first thing that you see here is the info. The info option, this gives you information about the document, how long it was edited, who created it, and a whole bunch of properties and different aspects of a document. Then you can create a new document, new, open an existing one, save it, print it, share it, and so on. Now, under sharing, by the way, notice there are different options here, and we'll cover those some other time, but just so that you know where these options are. Under export as well, this is another great option that I hope to cover in a later session here. To, in order to create a PDF document, you would come here under export and then choose PDF or XPS document and just save it that's how you create a PDF document very easily and but the other thing here here is that uh, under account this is where you can change the theme for office or word in this case and this is where you can sign in with your office 365 subscription and then if you go under uh, under options this is where you can change all kinds of other options related to the usage of, of Word 2013 in your computer. So again, you just click on File, and this is where there are some of the general aspects of Word. Now, um, right above File here, and by the way, you notice these tabs here, you have the Home tab, the Insert tab, the Design, and notice as soon as you open any of those, you have a new set of tools. This is the, the ribbon with a set of tools for each tab. The contextual tools actually it's something else that shows up later when you're manipulating a document and then a certain set of tools shows up depending on what you're doing. 
So the important thing here is uh, you have the file or you have this whole thing here in the top. It's referred to as the ribbon, the office ribbon. The office ribbon has different tabs with different sets and subsets of tools. On each uh, set or subset of tools, notice there are different sections here. So for example, there's the font section, the paragraph section, the style section, editing and so on. And uh, notice if you want to show the menus like in the old uh, versions of Office yeah, for manipulating, let's say, the font or something like that, related to anything related to a specific group, notice that there is a little arrow in here. And you can click on that expanding arrow and it will show you different settings or a whole dialog box like in the previous versions of Word. So, like I mentioned, we have the different tabs. Right above the tabs here on the ribbon, you have this quick launch toolbar. The quick launch toolbar is basically just a set of tools that you can pick and choose and store them or park them in there for easier access for you. So if you, for example, are constantly inserting pictures in your document, and instead of having to go to the insert tab and you click on pictures, you just simply right click and choose, act, choose add to quick access toolbar and now it is up here. So now if I'm typing my document here and so on and I want to insert a picture, I can simply click on this icon. So the quick access toolbar is just a set of tools that you park for you to reuse or easy access it. Then on the bottom right here, notice you can zoom, make the document larger or smaller and then we have the various layout options so you have the web layout you have the print layout and then you have the reading mode as well reading mode has been enhanced more in this version of word but it's designed so that you can read a document much easier than before or much easier than a traditional document then on the bottom left here you have the number of words in this document and you can click on it and it'll tell you what the words how many words how many pages how many characters and all kinds of statistics about your document and then under page one out of one here you can choose to display the navigation such as headings results and so on so before i finish this short session here on getting around in microsoft word and understanding the interface here the idea is that the common stuff that you do in a document all the specific features the common features in a document or tasks that you perform are usually under the home tab so you start with home you start creating your document typing along then once you have your document, you start typing with it and you create, you can tinker with the fonts, you can tinker with the paragraph, the indentations and all that type of thing. Then you can modify the styles and so on. You can do some plain text replacements. But then once you have done all of these basic stuff, such as copying and pasting as well, then you want to enhance the document and then you can insert other stuff in this document. So you are enhancing, you're taking it a step further. In this case, you utilize the tools that are located under the insert tab. In this case, you could insert a cover page, blank pages. You could insert tables, pictures, pictures from online, different shapes, smart art, using smart art and so on, different other apps and connect it to stuff from Wikipedia or other online app store. Online video, and by the way, this is a new feature in Office in Word 2013. The hyperlinks and so on. So basically, all of these options you're enhancing. Then you move on to the design, the design, the changing of the layout of this document by applying different color themes, by applying different effects and that type of thing. Then you move into the page layout. So you're kind of now formatting. This could be a brochure, but you want to format it a different way. You want to change the margins. You want to change the indentations and all that type of thing. You can go also into references. Let's say it's a research document or a quote or, or a proposal that you're sending. All this stuff, and you want to create a, gen a table of contents and so on. 
you so you go to the various tabs then you can do a mail merge and you can review it finalize your coming to the conclusion of your project by reviewing checking it for grammar spelling and so on and then finally you're viewing it like in reading mode in comparing it and that type of thing in different split windows and so on and on so the idea is that you start with the basic stuff on the home tab as you go make progress in your document and you're enhancing it that's when you go through the different other tabs and you apply the different features from there now one thing that i'd like you to keep in mind is that the best way instead of reading a big textbook or textbook or uh, reading and viewing uh, videos online for hours and hours the best way to learn about a program or an application is by simply clicking on the different tools that are available tinker around with it and see what it can do if you're not sure just press cancel it's not gonna break it's not gonna mess up your computer and that's the best thing that you can do to learn a program it's very similar to like going in your garage and looking through all the tools that you have and then if you know where what tools you have and where they are whenever you have to do a project whenever down the road you don't have to run to the store to buy it but you have it right there so you know what you have you know where it is and then you can figure it out how to do it from there so this is briefly the interface on using uh, word it's so we have not uh, started on any functionality at this point but just to get you acquainted with the interface and what's where Thank you.